Shalom, so y'all. Ron Dalton here. Oh, man. Man, man. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. Oh, my God. You know, I'm not going to say that our race is weak or black men are weak, but we really have to analyze what just happened if Kyrie Irving um, apologized for posting the movie uh, link to Hebrews to Negroes. And on top of that, if he's going to donate a half a million dollars to the Jews that really don't need half a million dollars. I mean, they're, they're rich. I mean, we all know that the uh, banking family out of London, England, England, the Rothschilds, nobody can say you are incorrect in saying that they are a Jewish banking family. Anybody can Google this right now and see that the Rothschild family is a Jewish banking family. They do not need they do not need Kyrie Irving's half a million dollars. Kyrie has been pressured. He's been heckled uh, at the games just for watching a movie that he saw and he felt the need to share with his black fans, his people, as he mentioned in the, in the press conference. And we have that right because we are thinking free will human beings that can make decisions. We're not robots. We can't be programmed. We're not little kids to be told what to do. And our parents can tell us you can't watch a, a, a rated R movie or PG-13 movie. Therefore, go upstairs and go to bed or cover your eyes. Or no, I'm not taking to the movies because you're not old enough to see that movie. We're adults now. So we have the the right and the ability to watch a movie and determine for ourselves if the movie that we watched is true or we think it's false or it's garbage. And leave it at that. There's a lot of documentaries that are made today that are supposedly based on facts, information, and research, but they are not truthful. I mean, I've seen movies that states that were the ancient Egyptians of, of, you know, of ancient times, but this can be easily disproven with hardcore facts and evidence. But you know what? The Washington Post called me today. At least the guy said he was Washington Post. And I told him um, after he asked me a lot of personal questions, I said, it's not important how many people have streamed the movie since Kyrie Irving posted the video, posted the link. It's not important how much the, the movie costs to rent and to buy. I don't care if you if you say, well, why is the movie forty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine? Why is the movie nine dollars to rent? How many people have watched the movie? Can you check for me? Can you go look in your in your in your in your dashboard? No. How are you able to make the movie? It's not your business. Well, are you you know well, this, do you have help? I said, listen. I said a computer and an editing program. <laughs> That's it. Well, it says that you, it costs this much money to make the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, is, was that what you read? You know, like I'm, I'm not, you know, an AI machine that can, I can keep calculations like that for over years. Well, how many books have you sold since 2015? I don't know. Enough. Where, where do they go? The whole world. What about the movies? The whole world. Uh, what, how else do you get the, how else do you get the movies out? Well, we have what's called a DVD. <laughs> we have over. We have streaming DVD. You have book publishers that publish a book. You print it, you bind it, it comes to your house. I put it in a, a package, I put the address on it, I go to the post office or UPS, FedEx, DHL, and I ship it. 
anywhere in the world. So yes, the movies and the books have been shipped all across the world. Africa, Polynesia, Micronesia, Melanesia, India, Asia, the Middle East, the Levant, Latin America, Caribbean, Europe, America. So, you know, these guys, they they can't stand, they can't stand that what happened happened. But what happened happened and can't be reversed. You know, they can't go back in, in, the, in the past and change this. It's, it's already happened now. So millions of people, I think, are now understanding that the mass media does not want black people to know who they are. They do not want you to know who you who you are. And this is why there was such a frenzy and commotion that it was on sports channels, it was on news channels, podcasts, everybody and their mama was talking about this so called anti Semitic film and book. And notice how the media, the mass media, and I told the Washington, Washington Post guy, I said, it's funny how a news reporter's job is to, is to report the facts and details and information. I said, when, a, when, a, when somebody dies and, and gets shot in Detroit, the reporter knows the time, he knows the part of Detroit, the street address, the west side, the east side, what time of the day, what led up to the shooting, who got shot, the name of the person, the age, where they got shot at, the head, the stomach, the chest, how are they doing, are they in critical condition, did they die, are they paralyzed, uh, the, the parents' names, um, the assailant, did they catch them, do they know who it is, do they have any leads? They have all this information to give you. And I told the news reporter when, when Mel Gibson had, had that little, you know, incident where people were, I don't know, I guess they were mad at him or something was going on with the Passion of the Christ movie. I said, they said on TV, we all knew it was the Passion of the Christ because they said it. The Passion of the Christ, Mel Gibson's movie, Passion of the Christ. Mel Gibson's movie, Passion of the Christ. I said, but the news reporters in 2022, when they mentioned this anti-Semitic film and book, they never mention the name of the movie in the book or the name of the, of the author or the filmmaker. So if you're sitting there looking at TV, watching a reporter say, anti, all of them are saying the same thing, anti-Semitic film and book, film and book, 2015, 2018, film and book, film and book, based off a of book. Like, if I'm sitting there looking at these guys, these reporters, like, what's the name of the book? For God's sake, what's the name of the movie? What's the name of the, of the filmmaker, the author? We know filmmakers like Tyler Perry and other people, Steven Spielberg. We know these things. And we know the title and the title of the book or the play of the movie. We know they say these things on TV, but they remember they don't they don't ever want you to know the name of the book or the movie on live television because they know that on live television millions of people are watching in real time. And they do not want millions of people watching all across the world. And to hear anti-Semitic film and book titled Hebrews to Negroes Wake Up Black America by Ron Dalton. They do not want you to have that register in your brain so you can look and you can go to your phone, your computer, and you can start Googling it and you can go to Amazon and you can start streaming it right away because they think because most people are lazy, we're dumbed down and we're so bogged down with life that we're going to say, what did he say, honey? Uh, it's it's some about some anti-Semitic film or movie that Kyrie Irving posted on Instagram, on, on Twitter, and everybody's in an uproar. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, you ready to eat now? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Take your plate. You know, and then and then after it goes off, you're like, well, I, you know, they never told me the name of the movie or the book, so I'm not going. I don't know how to search it because I don't know the name of the book anyway. Because most people are not going to do their due diligence and say, let me research on Google. What is the name of this movie and book? Especially older people, they're not going to get on the on the, on the phone, the computer if they're not if they're, if they're not computer savvy, savvy or digital savvy. savvy. And so let me go find the name of this movie and book that everybody keeps talking about. Let me go research for this. 
And then they try, they try to research for this on Amazon and they have a little difficulty. They type in Hebrews to Negroes and it doesn't come up right away and they don't see how to find it. Then they're just going to give up because because they have algorithms to where they can make it more difficult for you to find Hebrews to Negroes movies and books. Even to find me on Instagram or YouTube, you got to type in the whole word. Hebrews to Negroes Wake Up Black America or Hebrews to Negroes True Revelation of Age of Awakening. Then you get the closest way to find the movie in the book. Because they want you to get frustrated, to give up, and to not do your due diligence and look and research and, and do what you can to find out how to watch this movie and book. But the longer that the tweet stayed up on social media, they could not let it rest. They could not let that rest. It was killing them inside like a cancer because they knew as long as it stayed up, people had access to the link. Four million, five million, ten million, fifteen million. And they kept saying that. He has he has five million followers. He has ten million followers. He has fifteen million followers. Why would he do that? They are scared of Hebrews to go to Wake of Black America, the movie and the books. And the Washington Post guy said, Are you are you making any more movies? I said, I've already made more movies. I'm making more movies. And they're all they're all within the same topic. I said they sure are proving who we are as the Israelites and proving who everybody else on the planet Earth is according to their biblical identity, ancestry, heritage, and lineage. And I broke it down. I said, listen, I said, we have to understand some things here. Let's break down Shem and the word anti-Semitic or Shemitic, hatred or prejudice towards a people because of whatever, race, religion, whatever. I said, listen, let's get to the basics. We have race, which is defined by physical characteristics. So in Africa, most people, whether you're African pygmy or Hausa or Fulani or Somalian or Lua or Tuareg or Khoisan or a Bantu Negro, you physically on the outside look and categorize to most people as being of the black race. Two, people say Jewish being Jewish is not it's not a race, not a religion, blah blah blah. Two, people are going to subscribe to a religion: Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, whatever, animism. But three, the most important thing out of all of that is what is your ancestry, your lineage, your heritage. Now these things. These things are based off of cultural expressions and a people's geographic, geographical area of location. And these people have specific traditions and customs, oral histories, language, religion, all types of things. But the one thing that they share in common is that they descend from a common ancestral forefather. We know that the African pygmies are not from the same man that the Chinese come from or the Russians come from. The Bantu Negro in Southern Africa are not related to the same man that Europeans come from or Chinese people come from. So we have to get that straight. And like I told him, I said, the true ancestry heritage and lineage of the so-called Negro that I proved in my books hands down is that of Jacob who was renamed Israel. So we are the Israelites of the Bible. We cannot be anti-Semitic because we are Semitic. And I said the true biblical ancestry lineage and heritage of the Ashkenazi as far as Jews today goes back to the children of Japheth, the son of Noah. Not Shem, Japheth. And he sat there, he listened, he was like, okay, all right. And I said, by the way, I said, everything we just said just now, I recorded it. So don't try to do nothing slick and change what I said or report something I just said because I got the proof right here. I said, you guys do that a lot. And he got quiet. He said, oh, oh, I'm glad you told me that. I said, yeah, I'm glad you know now. And so, yeah, these guys, they don't want to confront the truth. They attack Kyrie Irving, but like I said, what you need to do is ask Ron Dalton. Because Ron Dawes not bending the knee, he's not backing down, he stands on what he believes in, and that's that.